Hi there, in this video I want to show you how to use the Anchor Register tool in Naxport to easily move your registers to a different position. This is really useful if you're wanting to realign, for example, first half or second half data that you have, especially when you're linking up your analysis with a different video. So in this scenario, I've got a full game video, but I have now got a second half timeline which was previously linked to a second half video, which means that all of these clips would have related to that video, but they don't relate to this full video. For example, I know that this first possession op clip that's going to show here should be around this point in my video. And I always choose my possession clips to start five seconds before the opposition receives the ball. So if I jump back five seconds, I know that I want my clip to start here, for example. But obviously, if I go and look at my timeline, this clip, the first clip is out of position. So when you use an anchor register tool, you need to identify a clip that you can clearly reposition to another point in the video. This is what everything is going to anchor around. So if you have a button in your template that says first half start, second half start, that's brilliant. In my example, I don't have that, but I know the first action of the second half that I can easily relate to is the moment that this team catches the ball. So I'm just going to zoom into my timeline to show you what we do here. To use the anchor register tool, you hold down the alt key and then click on the register that you want to be your anchor. So you hold down alt and click the register. You see that it now turns red. So this is identified as our anchor register. What I need to do now is jump to that point in the video that I want to move this register to. And when I do that, everything else is going to move in relation to it. So again, this is our break at the first, first half. So I jump forwards. And again, I know that after the moment that the opposition catches it there, if I jump back five seconds, because that's how I set up my clip. So I press the left arrow key and pause here. This is where I want that clip to move to. So it's my anchor register in red. I held down alt and clicked on it. Now the shortcut is control and A. So hold down the control key and press A. And once you've done that, all of your registers will move in relation to that anchor register. So from there, I could hold down the alt key and click this just to remove that setting. So it gives a really quick way of moving all your registers to a specific point based on one of those registers. Now, just in addition to this, I've now got my second half lined up for this video, but I also have a first half .nac file, which also was related to a different video. So what I can do is bring in that first half analysis, and I might have already gone through the process of making sure that syncs up correctly in the same way that we've done here. But because this timeline just has the second half analysis, I can now easily bring in the first half analysis too by clicking the settings option. And then coming down here where it says join a database of the same video to this database. So I click here. And now I go to my databases. Find the first half file that I'm looking for. So this one. I press open and I'm now bringing in all of these clips. Again, you could choose to not bring them in if you didn't want to. Bring those into my timeline. And now we have the full game timeline here with our first half and second half joined up together. Hope you found that useful.